Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So my name is Kalechi Agashinokori and I'm a Canva expert. I'm also a Canva setter. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to create the Canva to create the outline effect. Sorry, to create the image outline effect with Canva. Let me slow it down for you guys. Now I am not going to take much of your time because this tutorial is not really um it's not that long the first thing i'm going to do is i'll go back to create create a new design and use instagram post template the squared one i already created it here so i'll just go over to this place right now this is our canvas this is our blank page the first thing i am going to do is i'm going to change the color Maybe I'm gonna use this. I might change it later, but let's start with this. Now I am going to locate the image I want to use or search for model that the search word. Wow, there are little be beautiful images on Canva that you can use. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting. But I'm gonna use this. Now this is the image we're gonna use, and the background color is beautiful. So maybe I can Maybe I'm going to change the background color to this. But now I'll go back to edit image and remove the background of this image. I would always tell you that you cannot achieve this if you don't have a pro account. You cannot remove the backgrounds of an image successfully. You can do that on remove.bg, but if you want to do it directly from Canva, you need a pro account. So we've successfully removed the background image. I'm going to click on apply, and then I'm going to reduce the space. So we have our beautiful lady. She's beautiful. I don't know why this color is not doing it for me. Maybe this, maybe this, or maybe this, but we'll continue later. So this is the image then the next thing i am going to do is i'll go back to edit image again come over to shadows and click on this glow we're not done we are not done i'm going to click on glow again and then i'm going to change the color you can use any color for this okay the default color is black but you can use any color at all okay from this you can create add a new color whichever one so let's use uh, let's use white now once you've selected the, your color your choice color you come over to um blur you reduce the blur you increase the size a bit you increase the transparency can reduce the size okay so this is as simple as it is we have a white color you can change it to yellow beautiful you can change it to blue blue does not suit this but you can just play around with different colors but white yellow they are really nice you can use purple you can use red you can use blue you can just and green you can play around with this you can reduce the size you can increase it you can see it's really 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 beautiful so uh, this is basically how you can achieve this okay like i said you can use yellow should we use yellow mm, white let's use white so then i'm going to click on apply and there you have it so let's just spice this up a little i'm going to click add the text o u t l i n e it's outline i'm going to change this to anton bring it here then i'll go over to effect and select outline change the color to white I'm going to reduce the thickness. I am going to increase this to outline. Place it, take it all the way to the back. 
duplicate this, bring it down here, take it all the way to the back, duplicate it again, take it all the way to the back. And there you have it, outline, outline, outline. This looks nice. You can use this for maybe you want to create a cover photo, a Facebook cover photo, or you just want to design the social media covers. You can use this. And trust me, it's going to come out great. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do that now. And if you found this helpful, you can just like or comment on this video. My name remains Kelechi Augustine Okori. And see you in the next video tutorial. Bye-bye for now.